Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome back to Mount Gondor. I mean, Gondor. Swordgore. Hope you're all having a wonderful day as we jump back into it. We're in a volcano, an active volcano. We almost won our first game of Sveda, but unfortunately, I suck. <laughs> and I accidentally messed up the last shot. God damn it. Piece of shit, man. Uh, Dog Eyes had a pretty cool suggestion. Um, apparently if you get down to one shot, there's a possibility that you can reset the ball and not have it count as a shot, even though normally it would. I want to test this out, so it'll probably be a chance that we'll miss out on another Sveda attempt, but at the end of the day, if, it, if we find new tech or possible tech in this run-through, then that'd be great. Uh, also, Rowan. 4010 also mentioned that uh, in this particular floor, Battle with Griffin's Army, there's actually really good abs. 1,692 to be achieved in here, and with a rough time limit uh, of about, you know, the game's time of 7 minutes, 10 seconds, so we're probably looking at about maybe, because we're actually collecting the, the, the abs, obviously. If you're going for the timer, you usually skip me on the abs. Um, maybe around 9 minutes per run. That's not too bad. Uh, if we were to spam this mission, so definitely something to consider as we go into it. But we have another mission to go. Oh my god, and it's immediately a Red Seal. Of course it is. Mount Gundor Wind. Uh, Red Seal it locks out... Is that lock out Monica or put Monica in? I don't remember. Uh, regardless, seven minutes. It does have Sveda. Okay, never mind. We're playing as Max, so... Considering the... The challenge is uh, Max's gun. For a second, I looked up at the recording and it was a black screen and I'm like, oh, no, wait, the game is also a black screen. So I think we're okay. Never mind, I take it all back. The game is just tricking me. Turns out we got to win first as Monica by killing all the enemies and then we can get Max. Max has been yeeted out by the Red Atlamilia because he sucks. All right, cool. So of course, in classic Dark Cloud fashion, we're probably going to be thrown up against uh, monsters that uh, Monica is not particularly good at. Although, that being said, Griffin Soldier and Gremlin, or whatever the hell you want to call them, Gemrons, are not really that bad. Also, this guy just totally blocked my magic, dude. I think we could, like, backpedal. Oh, God, come on! A little bit there. I swear, though, like, Monica's... Oh, God. A little bit more weak than I thought. Figure she would be. Oh god, please. Nice. Okay, there we go. Now we just stay like this. And wait for the, the big shot. Oh wait, we're already at four. Honestly, this is just the safest way to go. No chip damage. Tier four murder. I think we can do a two. Okay, it's not it doesn't really scale the way that you would think. Makes more sense though, because it's more risky to go for the four. Uh, if you were, like, surrounded by a bunch of enemies. And we got a Thunder Element from that. Not too bad. Oh, yeah. Hello. Don't mind me, sir. I am here to have the fun. Nice. You messed up. Some may say this is a lame strat. Others may say this is pure genius. I mean, I am only one Monica. What can I do? What can I do, man? And I also have to kill every single enemy, because not only do we need Max to play golf, because apparently Monica can't play golf, uh, but also, Spada doesn't appear, appear when, uh, you, you know, you have monsters on the screen, so I guess that makes sense, too. I wasn't really thinking about that when I was about to say that, but, you know. Also, apparently we had to fight a giant tree. Uh, which we ran past earlier, but... Goddamn, man. I really do feel like Monica's sword should be doing way more damage than this. To be fair, I haven't really been building it up, <laughs> to be entirely honest with you. Uh, in fact, in, in fact, let's take a look at it. Oh my god! It's only plus 12, guys. We have 38 synthesis points to look into. Wait, all we need is attack on the Brave Arc to uh, get it leveled up. You know what? I'm going to go consult the guide, which is actually in our description. We've had it in there for a while. Uh, not for you guys, but for me, because I always forget where I'm putting this stuff. Also, there's another person that gave me, like, a cool guide 
I think it was Forgotten Ark. And then they uh, gave me a bunch of cool stuff. I'll try and make sure I throw that up at some point, but uh, for now, let me give me a sec. Okay, so there's actually... Okay, I think we've looked at this before, and I apologize for repeating myself, but again, at the end of the day, uh, you know... You know how this last play is recorded? It's like once every uh, month. So, <laughs> uh, I need to figure out how to do this. Uh, so, it can go Brave Arc into Ruler Sword and, or into Claymore. But if we go down Ruler Sword, it looks like we get an ABS buff. Uh, which means more absorption points overall. At the end of the day, I don't see anything wrong with maybe throwing a couple Power Crystals in here. Honestly, we can just do one at a time. Uh, which will obviously shove us into another route a bit faster than you expect, but, uh, I mean, we're a plus 12 Brave Arc. I think at the end of the day, that's not terrible, um, so we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't make the rules. Uh, but the cool thing is, later on, this can actually end up becoming either the Cross Hinder with a durability buff, or the Chronicle Sword from Dark Cloud 1, later on Chronicle Sword 2. The Chronicle Sword itself comes with Stop, and then the Chronicle 2 comes with Crit. However, if we go down the Sword of Zeus with the Cross Hinder, which has a durability buff, we get the Sword of Zeus, which has nothing, and then we get the Island King, which everything points to the Island King for whatever reason. Oh my god, there's also the Isla Milia Sword. They have everything! Monica is literally the tone. I mean, I mean, she obviously is, but, you know, I kind of want to go down the Chronicle Sword route. Because, you know, the Chronicle 2, you couldn't build up to it in Dark Cloud 1. You had to get it after you beat the 104 dungeon. And at that point, it didn't even, like, the only reason you would use it is to kill the Dark Genie in, like, two shots. <laughs> Maybe one, if you're really, really powerful at the time. Um, shit, man. Shit, man. And, you know what? I don't care. We're just going to keep going. With, uh, with a good... I think we're gonna do Chronicle. Call me a mad lad McChat. But, like, I think I would actually really enjoy... Wait, did this go up last time? Okay, it did. I was gonna... I was getting a little worried. We're going, uh, to 80 here. I think at the end of the day, getting the abs buff is, like, pretty huge. Finally! Alright, this is... This is the one we want, right? Ruler's Sword. Um... Yeah, and this can just become the, the Chronicle Sword or go up to the Cross Hinder. So I think we do this. I think we do this. Or the abs plus? I think this is abs up. It better be, because I don't want to restart this recording. <laughs> it, be it better be. Ruler's sword. Abs up, dude. Holy shit. Alright, now we get more abs. I'm bigger and thicker. All in one. That's a cool looking sword. It kind of reminds me of something that, uh, like, you know, Ruby would use, even though she doesn't use a sword, obviously, but if she were a sword user, I would see her uh, using said weapon. All right, wind gun drawn. Ow! Oh, well, I'm definitely doing more damage with my fancy magical rebound. I wanted to wait for that fifth one just because I was a little worried I was going to get hit. Oh, piece of shit. There we go. That one I went to early. All right, hold on. Hold on. Okay, we're going to step into here. How are we doing on bread? Terribly. We actually are, uh, yeah, we were at three bread, three cheese, three premium chickens. Well, we'll chuck down some more bread, like how Mikasa shoved bread down uh, Eren's throat in, like, episode two of Attack on Titan. You know what's a good show? Attack on Titan High School. <laughs> if you haven't seen the high school edition of Attack on Titan... Dude, you have have you even been living your life properly? Okay, this is her fast sword too, so now Monica's easily become the greatest champion. Uh yeah, I think the I think the Island King must be a slower weapon. Or the Sword of Zeus. I think we're just gonna make the Chronicle Sword. I think that's just what we're gonna do. I'm like super into this. Uh okay, well obviously we're just gonna yeet that little bad boy over there. Oh 360! Oh, this guy shit out um. Right, little babies, for one. Actually, he spawned so many babies that they despawned him and the Gundron. Okay, I probably could have used the Gundron there for, like, you know, a little bit extra. Oh my god, these guys exploding the money? 
Are you telling me we can have infinite money farm, dude? Are you telling me we can have infinite money farm if he just keeps farting out dudes? Ah! Okay. I don't know if we're taking chip damage. Holy shit! Monica is, like, a legend. Possibly the daughter of Zeus, hence why she can get the Sword of Zwes. Speaking of Zeus, uh, go check out my Hades playthrough. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Pretty good playthrough, I think. You get to see uh, Zeus's uh, pecs. It's great. It's good shit, man. Who doesn't want to see that? I know, I know I want to see that every day of the week. Obviously. <laughs> you guys think I wouldn't? Is it, I wonder... Did I mention before? I think, honestly, Mimics don't show up until, like, a few floors in. I might be completely wrong. Did we get a single Mimic in the last run, though? All right, so now we have to fight Treebeard. Kill his children, quickly, so that he can't- He doesn't do chip damage, dude! He doesn't do chip damage! Oh my god, this is the best Monica mission ever! And he gives me the Magma Rock and a Poison Apple all in one. I think we just give Monica the good shit. We know that she's going to get stop and crit, so we don't put crit or stop on her weapon. Because she's just going to get it, even though I don't think we have stop. I think we have crit. What else do we put on here? Uh, does her... Okay, hold on. Status. Okay, she doesn't have indestructible. The cross hinder gets durable, which I think is the same thing as this. Um, but we're not going to go that route. We're going to go Chronicle Sword. I think Chronicle Sword seems really fun. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel good. I feel good about this. Okay. We, uh, we get the indestructible coin. Yes. Yes. And we, we slap that right on. Right on, dude. Perfect. Perfect. Now it'll never break. Um, uh, excellent. Life is good in Monica Town. Uh, on top of that, the bandito coin. Of course, we want to rob our enemies. And we're attacking fast, which means usually we're not doing as much damage, which means more theft. Excellent. Get that in there. I'm a dirty thief. Excellent. Feels good, man. Oh, look at that. It's waving at me. Hi, I'm a thief. Smiles. Uh, so I think... Is bullseye coin or precision crit? I have to assume. And then we got the absorption coin, which absorbs uh, health, I'm assuming. So you know what? Monica, all in on Monica is what I say. All in on Monica. We get the absorption coin, because we know we're not going to get absorption. Oh, wait, hold on a minute. Okay, the, <laughs> I was reading the abs, and I'm like, oh, no. But I think, uh, I think abs stands for, like, ability score or something. Okay, we're good. And, yeah, we'll get the, we'll get the crit uh, when this becomes a Chronicle 2. Yeah, I think so. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. I normally am. Uh, but I think we got it. I think we're, we're nailing it right now. Dude, Monica just became Mad Lad McChad over here, dude. Sick. And then watch me, like, never use a sword again once it becomes Chronicle 2. <laughs> Much like how we played Tone in uh, Dark Cloud 1. Although we're not really given that luxury of uh, playing every other character in the game. Considering there's only two characters. Oh my god! It got even more powerful. Dude, we can just farm out points all day. I wonder if you do the double swap. I wonder if you if you switch characters twice, if you can then give your character you're currently on points for both the sword and the, the amulet, or if the game perhaps remembers if you killed it with the sword with that character, so therefore that character, no matter what, will get sword... Uh, ABS, so it's gonna call it ammo. Sword ammo. <laughs> hey, maybe it's a gun blade. You never know, dude. Could be a gun blade. You found bread. You know, I could always use some bread. I love this music, man. This music's so good! That's one thing that's consistent between, uh, Dark Cloud 1 and 2, is the music is super, super good. It's the same composer. I'm not sure if he went on to do Nino Kuni, but then again, I really have played a very minimal amount of Nino Kuni. Oh, look at this little Geostone is right here. Geostone. The greatest Geostone. They got Mr. T. 
There we go. Oh my gosh, more gun drones. Hey, get over here. Oh god, here we go. Yes, supercharge me. Give me my EXP! Ah! <laughs> I gotta I gotta go full aggression mode if uh if <laughs> if they drop the XP. Otherwise, is it really worth playing? Oh my god, we have all our health back. Dude, this is like in Hades when we get like the vampirism buff. The game just becomes a freaking easy easy boy. I was gonna say a slog, but that's not true. It becomes the opposite of a slog. It becomes uh you know, murder fest, fun time. There's a... There it is. Stone in the shape of a T. The tip is pointed. You don't say. The tip of the T is pointed. Who would have guessed? Oh my god. She is just a murderer of anything lightning-based. Maybe Monica is just the daughter of uh, Raiden from Metal Gear Solid. She, uh, she has become the lightning. Raiden, you're the lightning in the rain. I love Raiden, man. I can't believe we still haven't played through the entirety of the Metal Gear Solid series, dude. We're playing the last Hideo Kojima game so far on the channel, uh, Death Stranding, which is an incredible game. I love that game. Um, but not to the extent of like every Metal Gear Solid, dude. Oh, Metal Gear Solid's so good. All right, at some point, remind me. We gotta play through every Metal Gear Solid game, uh, especially Acid. What the hell, Ghost of Tsushima? Get out of here! I don't want. I don't have friends to play co-op with in that single-player game that magically got co-op out of nowhere, which is awesome. I really, I really don't know what happened. I guess my notifications got turned back on, and I still have yet to remember to turn them back off. So. But it's only the notifications for installs, so I Man, I don't even know. <laughs> I thought I turned those off forever ago. I don't know if you guys ever get this. You guys ever get it where your console just turns notifications back on? And, you're, and you just hate it? It's like when Steam updates on PC, and then uh, for some reason it just re-enables all of your notifications. So when you're trying to record a video, because, um, you know, everyone here is... Uh, <laughs> everyone here that watches my videos records videos, right? Uh, you know, it just appears in the bottom right of your screen. You're like, God damn it. Piece of shit. All right, we broke the seal. Now Max is free. Finally. He has been brought free from the depths of the caves. Or whatever cage he was stuck in. Maybe a Johnny cage. Okay, for a second I thought that was an enemy because the, the ball is red and so is the sphere. <laughs> the, uh, the escape sphere. This, the escape vector. Yeah, it definitely seems like the first levels, though. I also noticed that there's a little fire emblem <laughs> on the front of the the chest there. That's another game I need to play. Fire Emblem Three Kingdoms. A game which I very much enjoyed and then uh, just stopped playing. Because one of my guys died and I was playing on Classic. And then I found out that there's no timer to tell you that, uh, you know, you have three turns to save this guy from certain death. Because I'm used to Final Fantasy Tactics where, you know, it's fair. And, uh, <laughs> fucking hell, a guy died, and I'm like, oh, I don't want to play anymore, it's bullshit. I was bummed out. And then I had to restart my game. I don't want to play anymore. I'm serious! I was that salty. I was so salty. My guy died. He died to bullshit, too, man. There was, like, 30 dudes, and they all just attacked him at the same time, and I, like, uh, and they all ran up to him and smacked him in the face. He was full health! <sighs> Can't believe it. Can't believe it, dude. Game betray me. Why you betray me? <laughs> Why all my friends betray me? I can't believe it, Lisa. Uh, all right, let's... I don't even know, dude. Okay, we're 162 meters away from it diagonally, so we're like 140. Uh, we gotta get halfway. We're, uh, we're at 140, so yeah, halfway ought to do it, maybe. Maybe a little bit light on that, because we want it to get into the hallway and not roll too far forward. Well, maybe that was a little too light, but at the end of the day, it's all, it's all about fun here. We're just here to have fun. 
That's all that matters, right, Monica? Whee! Oh my god, do I even have a straight shot? <laughs> I might have been better if I just repositioned it. Alright, hold on. Can we reposition it here? Oh god, I don't want to do that. How do I move the sphere? Costs one penalty. Oh, we're at four shots, right? How far can I bring this? Okay, okay, only this far. All right, no problem. No problem, dude. All right, here we go. Yeah, there we go. Much better, right? It's exactly where you want it. <laughs> That's what I should have done in the first place. All right, here we go. Now we go straight down. Uh, I don't know if the, the far wall... I should always check these things, but I don't think the far wall should have a hole in it, maybe, but I don't know why I would think that, because it's a hallway. I don't know, man. Shit. Maybe. I'm not even gonna backspin it. I'm just gonna sh shoot it forward. I'm gonna shit it forward. No! My God! Holy shit! <laughs> All right, we did it. We're, we're doing great. We're doing just fine. <laughs> it's all that matters. Wait, where are we gonna try the thing? We might actually be able to get this normally. We gotta try the thing. We need to know. I, this is why I wish we were playing the emulated version. I could just test it. All right, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, so we have two shots left, or two shot Tony. Uh, let's just kind of hit it upwards a little bit, you know? You don't need to hit it that hard, but it is going kind of vertically and horizontally. So if it can get into the other zone and it's blue, and I think we want blue. Ah, uh, uh, do I do it? This is the last time you'll be able to move the sphere to you. Oh, whoa, dude. It's free. So, okay, you get one move, but it's free even on one. Okay. Can I, like, move it up here? Hold on. How close can I get this? This close, eh? I can cheese it this much, though? Yeah, dude. And that's it. So you can't do it anymore. I'm spamming it. All right, we learned. Nice! Good shit, dog eyes. Hell yeah, dude. Alright. Now we just blast it. So then I started blasting. We'll go 50% because sometimes this thing can actually go over! Oh my god! Okay, we got it. That's the first time I've actually sliced the damn thing. Distortion repaired. You want a Sveda? Enjoy your metal, smiles. Thanks, game. Woo! Five treasure chest keys. I mean, it's not great, but, you know. It means I can open five more treasure chests, so that's always a delight in my eyes. Indeed, indeed. I think we have time for actually one more dungeon. Might as well. Might as well try and get as far as we can before we start rebuilding, uh, potentially doing some more uh, invention farming and all that good stuff. That's the most important thing. Oh god. That's what you get for trying to drink anything. Looking at the coaster and then Max is just like steamrolling a pillar. Uh alright, let's see. Don't worry, Max, you have been replaced. I know I gave you this cool ass hammer, but please enjoy it. Please look forward to always having this hammer that will never get upgraded. You have become gun now. Max has become gun now. I would like to save on this one, please and thank you. What do we got here? All right, seven minutes, 30 seconds. We got we got some Speta. We got some attack and defeat all enemies only using items. Obviously, I totally will do it on the first try, dude. Like, what, what, are you guys, what are you guys talking about? You think I can't do it? All right, blast them. Little dragons on the moon tan. Okay. I think we just go all in on Monica and Rightpod. And then we got some holy Gundrons. Gun Gundams. Really? More empties. Did 
Dude, Monica is just a little beast. I don't know what I did to make her so powerful other than, you know, give her everything, but it, it just brings a tear to my eye. Oh god, I didn't think he was going for the bite. He tricked me. Oh yeah, we're stealing shit now. Noise. We're little thieves now. We're our own little chow. Our chow has spawned within our heart. Our little cat girl ha ha doth hath become Monica. Where's our chow mod to turn Monica into chow? You know what's the most disappointing thing about chow is that she has four lines in the game and that's it. <laughs> She's like, hello. Thank you for turning me into a human. And then the game ends and it's like, I am now a cat. <laughs> but okay. All right, this is a great, a great storyline. <laughs> hey, it would be nice if the the characters like interacted with each other in uh, in Dark Cloud One. It never actually feels like that, does it? I don't even think like Osman, who's uh, arguably given the most like screen time, next to maybe Ruby. No, well, I don't know. Ungaga also has a pretty decent amount, and Gur. I guess it's about the even. It's about even. We'll call it even with Osman maybe tipping. Uh, the scale a little bit. Uh, but Chow is, like, unfortunately and, and criminally, like, this character that is completely, like, left behind in story. Like, who is Chow? I bet if you read, like, a description from the developers, and they're like, who is Chow? And someone just wrote, Tone's Cat. They're like, okay. <laughs> that's, that's, all right. We did it. We wrote Chow's character. <laughs> I, I don't know, I think it would have been cool to see these characters interact and have personalities that maybe clash with one another. Because you got Osmond, your geek, you got Ruby, your, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you got Ruby. Um, your friendly neighborhood nice lady, who definitely doesn't scheme or play with the hearts and minds of men. Nobody knows. You got Goro, and oh my god, Goro would probably look up to Ngaga, I think. Or maybe they would even compete. Maybe they would even compete. Just because Goro would incite the uh, competition. Because they're both essentially hunters. Man. All right, time to write a fan game. Um... <laughs> All right, guys, uh, welcome to part 64 of my uh, Dark Cloud fan fiction. Uh, today we will write about our romance with Tone and Ruby uh, before they create the bloodline uh, that would later uh, bestow upon uh, Monica uh, her right to the throne. Um, Tone, of course, a descendant of... Uh, the, the man on the top of the 100th floor dungeon, um, uh, who is actually related to, <laughs> what's his face from, <laughs> what, now what's his name? Yeah, I can't remember. White haired dude. No, how can I not remember his name? He's like the most important character. Whatever, man. Best fan fiction. 9 out of 10. 11 out of 10. You can't, you can't not rate your own fan fiction, fiction 11 out of 10. And then we're, we'll just make the entire game an RPG maker and call it a day. Uh, easy. Easy, guys. Listen, I got you covered. Dark Cloud 3, Dark Cloud 1 Remaster, whatever. I can do it. <laughs> it was gonna make it an RPG maker, dude. I mean, that's, that's what it was meant to be. Dude, I love, I love the slogan for RPG maker where it's like, even a kid can can make a video game in that. And then I load it up and I, I try to do anything and I'm like, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> you just start going, uh, uh, yeah, kids can do this, right? Okay. I think, I think RPG Maker is like, isn't it like an engine that's based off or similar to, if not a rip of, like the classic Final Fantasy 1 through 3 engine, possibly 4. Like, or maybe even all the way up through 6. Uh, and we're talking about the original like Japanese releases. Because obviously we have run into the weird Final Fantasy nonsense of like 10 of them came out 
<laughs> and, uh, you know, we only got two of them. Or some garbage. And then three was six, and six was nine. Nice. How come, how come I only absorb, like, random hits? It's very clear to me that I'm not absorbing every hit. I don't understand. Aren't I supposed to be a god? Why am I not doing, like, infinite damage, dude? Bullshit. Sh do one shots only. I wonder if it's a percentage of my output. It might be. But it must be, like, 0.01%, because I'm doing, like, 70 damage, and I'm not even getting back a single point. Oh, God. Hello. Oh, nice. Power me up. Make me ready. I will become more powerful than you could possibly know. Not even Nappa can take me on. Oh, you've done it now. Yeah, there you go. I got one point. <laughs> I think it is 0.01%. Oh, God. Recharge. Oh, okay, well, that time I got... I got two health from that one, and I got zero health from that one, so it's random. Uh-oh. So absorption, unfortunately, is not that good. Oh, shit. Whoops. I gotta remember, I take damage when I do that. Remember when I thought that was the best strat, just to throw, pick them up so I could, like, abuse them getting up, abuse their wake up, but then the, the devs were smart, and they were like, no, you can't do that, dummy. You're gonna take chip damage. Unbelievable chip damage. And I'm like, man. Unfair, man. Unfair. Uncool. <laughs> on the bright side, though, uh, banditry seems to be on the rise, which is always nice. I always appreciate a good little steal. We're almost at 99 of 99 weapon HP. I wonder if it goes even further beyond. Hmm. Wouldn't that be the dream? Get out of here with that shit. On the bright side, we have uh, Max the Million Dude is ready to go on uh, on his Fader Club, all prepped and ready to go. You know what we forgot to do is test to see if we could switch, do a double switch uh, between. Monica and Max. Now that Monica can also just slay, we can have her farm the first dungeon, really. <laughs> Wouldn't be too bad. Oh, God. God, she's so quick. All right, all right, switch. Switch to the Max. Switch to the Monica and stare at the armlet. Darn it. It remembers. It remembers with its brain. Bastards. How dare you not let me abuse the system <laughs> even further. Those sons of bitches. They thought of everything. I like the little, uh, like, little blizzard nugget that hits him in the head when you hit him with that. That's so cute. But maybe I'll be able to see it again. Come here. Hit me with the blast. There you go. Oh, never mind. It looks like the little, you know, like how you cast a blizzard in Final Fantasy. Or it smacks him on the head. It looked like that. Maybe I'm just going crazy. I mean, it's me. I mean, let's be honest. All right. That was a pretty smooth run, honestly. I think we took a bit too much chip damage here and there, but hey. Uh, not the end of the world. All righty. No, don't teleport me. I will not be teleported to strange places, game. I will walk there myself. Ooh. Not too bad. We have, like, a straight shot. And we have the land in, in, like, the middle there. We have five bullets. Five bullets. More than enough to kill anything that moves. Now we can abuse this new power of Sveta. Or we can teleport the bull. Uh on the final shot to give us a little bit of an edge. All right, let's see here. So we're 144 meters. Probably like 
20? Maybe 100? Maybe 100. Away from it. Uh, I always find, though, if I shoot straight on like this, the ball never goes as far as I want it, but I don't know. Uh, let's do like a... I'm feeling 60% maybe, but that might also be too powerful. Who knows? We'll just test it out. This might be ridiculously powerful. Also, it's a perfect shot, so it probably gets a boost. I knew it. Piece of shit. All right. Well, it's all right. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We got all the shots in the world. Except for that we don't. Okay. Chip this bad boy up. I think that ought to do it. Might go off the edge, though. Ooh oh my god! We did it. No problem. I knew it was going to do that. I knew it was going to roll off. Uh, I don't think there's any pillars in the other zone either, which is nice. Uh, okay, we got three hits remaining. I think we, we can just hit it. Well, not super hard, but like, I don't know. 60 again, maybe? Yeah, roll it in there. It's red. It's red, and we got two shots. All right, all right. Do we go straight in? Do we blast it? Do we blast toys? So we go 70%? Blast them. Yeah! <laughs> we did it. Because, yeah, I think it would have uh, maybe clipped it and then gone into the wall and smacked back as a blue boy. We didn't want that. We don't want to be blue abadi abadai. We just want to be red, dude. Red makes us go faster. That's why I gotta be a little slower. Excellent. More level up powder. Perfect. Always the dream, especially when it comes to end game. I don't feel like I'm gonna spend any of these level up powders until like end. End, 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 end game. Like top of the morning until you end end game weapons. Oh my god. The English language has left the building. It is no longer around. All right, give me my little rock. Throw it in there. It just always is so weird. You activate the rock and then the steam comes, but then he yeets the rock on top of it. Your logic here is not sound. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you all most likely in a couple days. I'm gonna try and record some more Silent Hill coming up. Uh, because I've been really enjoying that game. I just have unfortunately not had much time to record anything. Um, but hopefully coming up soon, I'll be able to get some more videos out for you guys uh, at a more natural pace. I hope you guys enjoyed the little bit of longer episode this time, as obviously the last time we didn't have as long of one. Anyway, I'm Mackabee101. I'll see you all next time. Love you guys. Take it easy.